Brake pads and shoes replacement. Brake pads replacement. Apply the parking brakes. Loosen the wheel nuts. Install the fender covers. Lift the vehicle on two post lift or on to the safety stand securely. Remove the wheel nuts fully and then remove the wheel. Calipers have a window from where the disc and pads are visible. The brake pads wear can be seen from this window. Generally, brake pads have a groove in the center of friction material to indicate the wear of lining. With the wear of brake pads, the caliper piston keeps coming out to adjust the travel. Push the piston back inside with the help of C-clamp. This helps in easy installation of caliper with new brake pads. Remove caliper mounting bolts and hang the caliper up with the help of a wire for easy removal of pads. Before taking out the old brake pads, observe the installation of pads thoroughly. Observe how the metal clips are installed along with pads so that these can be reinstalled exactly the same way with new pads. Brake pads should be checked for wear by checking the thickness of pad or by checking the thickness of the brake lining. If the brake pad or lining is near service limit, replace the same. Check brake pads for cracks, glazing, rough surface or scarring. These conditions may require replacement of pads. Check the brake disc runout using a dial gauge. If the runout is more than service limit, replace the disc or get the disc surface machined. Check the brake disc thickness using a micrometer. Replace the disc if this thickness has reached its service limit. Now install the new brake pads along with the retainer clips exactly in the same position observed during removal. Slide the caliper over the new brake pads and reinstall the mounting bolts.
tighten the caliper bolts to the specified torque. Move the disc to ensure free movement. Reinstall the wheel and tighten wheel nuts to specified torque. Push in the brake pedal several times to adjust the caliper piston. Take a road test to ensure the proper function of brakes. Brake shoes replacement. Apply the parking brakes. Loosen the wheel nuts. Lift the vehicle on two post lift or safety stand securely. Remove the wheel nuts fully and then remove the wheel. After removal of the wheel, release the parking brake. Remove spindle cap by hammering lightly around. Loosen spindle nut and remove it. Remove rear brake drum from rear spindle. If needed, remove brake drum by using special tools, drum puller and sliding hammer. Inspect the wheel cylinder for any sign of leakage. Replace the wheel cylinder in case of leakage. Before removing the shoes, observe the assembly of components thoroughly. Observe how the springs and shoes are installed so that they can be reinstalled exactly the same way. The holding clips hold the shoes in place. Depress the clip and rotate the pin to release it. Remove the springs holding both the shoes together. Remove the brake shoes along with self-adjusting mechanism. Disconnect the parking brake cable from the lever. Brake shoes should be checked for wear by checking the thickness of shoe or by checking the thickness of the brake lining. If the brake shoe or lining is near service limit, replace the same. Check brake drum inside diameter for wear out and run out. If the inside diameter is more than service limit, Replace the drum. 
If the runout dimensions are out of limit, the drum should be sent for lathe work or should be replaced. Clean the back plate and other components installed. Install the parking brake cable to the lever. Reduce the length of self-adjusting mechanism for easy fitment of brake drum on new brake shoes. Reinstall the self-adjusting mechanism and shoes in place with holding pins and springs. Install brake drum. Install new spindle nut and tighten it to specified torque. After tightening, cock the spindle nut. Reinstall the wheel and tighten wheel nuts to specify torque. Press the brake pedal 3 to 4 times to reset the self adjusting mechanism. 
check and adjust the parking brakes. Road test the car for proper functioning of brakes.